everybody welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and what do I have today I have the oddball club love the oddball club I think this is a, like medium box this time last time I got the micro box and it was nice but I was disappointed because I bought the smaller box and I'm not sure why I did that I like more stuff just what I need more stuff and here's what it's looking like on the inside. Lots of squiggly wigglies on tissue paper. Let's move squiggly wigglies a little bit. Oh my goodness. Lots of squiggly wigglies. Alright. And let's open up the tissue paper. It's a cute sticker. And let's see what we are seeing. There's what we're looking at. first thing that we have is, I don't know, that. What does it say? Journal prompts. That's what it is. Journal prompts. Benefits of journaling. Writing in a journal is an easy and accessible self-care practice for anyone with benefits ranging from stress reduction to greater self-awareness. When you slow down and encourage yourself to take the time out each day to articulate what's going on in your head, you open up space for creative problem-solving, decision-making, mindfulness, reflection, and overall physical and mental wellness. Get started. Find a place where you can sit with your journal and be alone and under undisturbed for about 10 minutes so that nothing interferes with your thoughts choose one of the prompts and devote the time to write and reflect on yourself and your life after that go back and read over what you've written you might find it clears things up in your head um like number one what builds me up uh number 25 write something you'd like to tell a friend family member or partner 38 what is a trusted who is a trusted friend in your life uh, 42, write down two quotes that inspire you. 46, what things change your mood from positive to negative? Number 50, because there's 50 prompts, what's your secret desire? So there's lots and lots and lots of different things. And on here, you can uh, gift this to someone. It says, dear blank, fill in uh, your name. A lot of time, self-care practices feel can feel overwhelming, especially when you're just starting out. So I want to remind you that it is important to trust yourself in this process. Try not to overthink the prompts or judge your writing. Let yourself get lost in the moment while journaling because it's the practice that is important. XOXO Monica, I hope you love journaling. I do. I like that. Ah, Fruity Alchemy Labs Strawberry Soap. That's always a good self-care item. Let's smell it. I hate to, I hate to mess up the package. It's so cute. It looks like it's going to be like one of those little fruit pies or something, doesn't it? Mm, I can smell the strawberry. Oh, that's that's good smelling. Nice, nice, nice. Mmm, that smells really good, guys. It made the box smell good too. More squiggly wigglies. The next thing is looks like some kind of a um, greeting card, note card. Keep going. And it's just blank inside, so that's a good encouragement for someone, even for yourself. Um, you can put it in a journal to keep yourself, you know, reminded um, to keep going, or you could send it to someone who's maybe struggling a little bit. How to Master Mindfulness, Exercises and Tools to Handle Stress, Get Motivated and Find Your Focus. A nice little book. Find Your Calm Among the Chaos. Are you feeling anxious, stressed, or overwhelmed? Don't worry, you're not alone. Um, these are very common feelings to have and they affect millions of people worldwide. How to Master Mindfulness will help you understand these feelings and show you how to work through your everyday worries so you learn to settle your stress and anxious thoughts before they begin to take over. Based on the concepts of mindfulness, which simply means slow, slowing down to really notice what you're doing. 
this journal will take you through calming exercises, stress relieving practices, daily gratitude, mindfulness, meditation, and much more. Move at your own pace, soothe your stress and anxiety, and master mindfulness to gain many a life full of peace and calm. Kind of reads kind of weird, but it's a guided journal. trying to show you but I'm so thin it's hard to um, flip through so how to use this journal chapter one meet your friend anxiety it talks about that and then in your feelings let's take a moment to check in how are you feeling right now notice your body emotions energy surroundings and thoughts how are you feeling about the idea of working with your anxiety and you know just different uh, mindfulness is chapter two uh, present in the moment, awareness, get comfortable, take a long breath and uh, with a deep exhale and open your senses. What do you observe? And then colors, shapes, smells, temperature, uh, sounds, near and far, textures or weight of things touching your body, light, what else? Um, it's just got all kinds of guided journaling. Uh, chapter three, keep going. And that goes along with that card. Um, I don't know if there's another chapter. Like I said, it's hard to flip through when there's um, when it's kind of thin. It's only what 47 pages long, but you know it doesn't have to be long. All right, so that's a nice little small journal you can toss in your bag and uh, or just work on anytime you need to um, practice some mindfulness and work your way through stress and stuff. That's pretty neat. And then warning: you can't pour from an empty cup. And it's a blank book, and this says you are cool, and it's got sunglasses down here. Is it all the same? No, there's like every few pages, there's a different, this one's got a butterfly. It's got some different, you know, corner art. Oh, this one's up at the top. What was it? You are doing a great job. So this is just a journal, just write in or a note, you know, book or whatever. It's got different art throughout, sometimes at the bottom, sometimes at the top. That's neat. So just, you know, line journal. So this one's a guided journal, but this one's just for you to write in whatever. You could keep appointments in here. You could write notes in here. You could journal in here, whatever. Um, and then there's another book thing. This one's heavy on the book things. Hmm. Body Positive Affirmations, Reasons Your Body Rocks by Monica Freeler, F-R-E-I-L-E-R. -E Work on your practice of self-love and appreciation of your body with heartwarming affirmations thoughtfully created to build self-compassion and acceptance towards your body. Thank you so much for supporting me. For more gifts and cards, check out my website, www.ratboneskinny.com. R-A-T-B-O-N-E-S-K-I-N-N-Y.com. I thought it was Rathbone Skinny. I guess it's Ratbone Skinny. I don't know. When you get a chance, open this book, pick an affirmation, and read it out. Uh, read it aloud, okay? So let's go to the first one. I love about my body because it makes me unique. My tender arms let me hug my loved ones. Things like that. And then you could color it if you wanted. There's stuff you could probably color in. My body and I make a great team. I do not need to compare bodies. Everyone has their own struggle even if I can't see them. Um, you know what I say about my body? My body's just the vehicle. My brain is who I am. Uh, some people are lucky and they have, you know, Lamborghinis or Bugattis or Mercedes Benz or whatever. And other people have Pintos that are old and broken down and dented and scratched and rusted. And But, you know, as long as it gets you from point A to point B, it's all good, right? We might wish we had a better one. But what really makes us is the, the person inside the vehicle, and that is your brain. That's what I say. So, my life-giving brain allows me to think and learn. See? Just what I just said. 
it, 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 without our brain, we don't exist really. I cultivate, I cultivate peace in my mind, heart, and body. There's just all kinds of positive affirmations in here. I will always seek happiness and health. That's a nice uh, thing to go along with the how to master mindfulness and, you know, journaling in there and then some not guided journaling in here. That's really neat. And to go with all that, your journal prompts and then the note card to send to someone. And so you can take a nice bath. You have the very nice smelling strawberry soap. I like that. That is a neat box. Um, what do you think? It was very journal heavy, but that was the theme of this box and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I, I really like it because I love journaling, so I'm not, I'm not mad about it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like this box? Do you not like this box? Would you want to get this box? Um, let's just talk about it. Do you journal? Do you not journal? Do you wish you journaled? I wish I journaled more. I'm going to start. I really am. Really, really. I have so many journals. I don't have a choice. I've got to start <laughs> or give them away, I guess. Um, with that, please give me that big old thumbs up because you know it would really help my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and please share my video with others because you never know, they might want to subscribe as well. And thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble and I can't wait to see you again soon in another video. Mwah! Bye guys. I like it.